Let's talk about Ogden, Utah's housing market. Some stats, some median sold values, some days on market, stuff like that. So if you're interested in the real estate market here in Ogden, let's talk about it today. Let's talk about the first stat I think most everybody thinks is the most important. Median sold value, which some people consider home value. So when people say home values went down, sometimes they use the stat of median sold value. So year over year, home values increased by about 6%. And then year to date, home values increased by about 1%. Basically, February of 2024, they were at $352,500 for median sold value. January is at $349,900, so a 1% increase. And then February of 2023, they were at $332,500. This year, they're at 352, which is that 6% increase. I think it's worth noting that home values are looking like they're going to increase from 2023 to 2024. Also on top of that, homes demand or the homes sold in 2023 to 2024 decreased by 21%. So February of 2023, there was 107 homes that sold in Ogden, Utah, and February of 2024, there were 85 homes that sold. This is where I want to go back in time a little bit, and I want to look at 2023 specifically. So you can see that home values actually decreased in 2023 from February of 2022 to February of 2023, they decreased by about 6%. That would basically be February of 2023, $332,000, and then February of 2022, $355,000. Also at the same time, they were going down 5% month over month, and then year to date, there was 27% homes less sold from February of 2022 to February of 2023. This is where I want you to start seeing something that I find very, very interesting. We've had two consecutive years where demand has decreased by a substantial amount, by 25%. So between February of 2022 and 2023, there was a decrease of 27%. And then from February 2023 to 2024, there was a decrease of 21%. So two years. So the expectation would have been that home values decreased for those two years, but they didn't. We had one year where it decreased by 6%. Now we've got one year where it increased by 6%. And I think it's really important to notice that this is a trajectory showing that home values in 2024 are going to increase from 2023, regardless of the demand. And I find that wildly interesting. If you're taking it as a comparison to 2022, so home values increased by 22% if we're taking one month stat in 2022, from February of 2022 to February of 2021. And then they were going up about 1% a month. And then the amount of demand actually increased in 2022. So you can see the median sold value of the price of homes increased with the substantial demand increase. This year, we've got a substantial demand decrease for two years, but we've actually got a small increase for the values of homes. So once again, take that as you will. So then on top of that, I just really want to take an average median sold value. So the median sold values for all 12 months in 2023 there was a median sold value in Ogden, Utah of $355,000, which is a decrease from 2022 at $367,000, which was an increase from 2021, which had $321,000. Mostly what I'm trying to get at is we saw an increase, a decrease, and with where the median sold value already is in 2023, being at $349,000 for, for January, $352,000 for February, it's seeming like home prices are going to increase in 2024. Is it going to be by a huge substantial amount? Uh, you know, there's no evidence indicating that, but there is really good evidence indicating that home prices will increase here in Ogden, Utah. And then on top of that, we can see that original list of sold value is at 97%, meaning that people are starting in that realm of being unrealistic of the prices that they're listing their home at. So people are listing at 365 or typically selling for 352. But that 97% is actually better than the last two months that were at 95%, indicating that sellers had really unrealistic expectations for the sale of their home. This, if you're, want, if you're like, oh, hey, what did this compare to in 2022 when we saw the huge price decreases? We were getting all the way down to 92, 91%, which is wildly unrealistic expectations. And if you're wondering at the height of the market what it was looking like back in 2021, we are at 105, 106%. So 106, 105% is one way too far. And then 90, 91% is the other way too far. We really are looking for it to get back to that 98, 99, or even 100% where people, sellers have realistic expectations for what their homes would sell for. 
The last of note stat that I think is really worth noticing is that median days on market is all the way up to 49, which is really high. We, we were a little bit above that in the November of 2022 time when the market was starting to go down. But even in May, we were all the way down to six, five, seven. I mean, we haven't been up to 49 days on market, what, in years now. So this literally is some of the lowest demand that we've ever had in the state of Utah, or in Ogden specifically, in years, and probably quite possibly a decade. I don't know. I could, I'll could i check that later, but at least in a three or four year span of time. And so even with that extreme decrease of demand, you're wondering why aren't home prices decreasing then if demand decreased so much? The genuine problem that we're running into is supply decreased by a substantial amount as well. I can only pull up the stat for homes listed, which I'm going to be honest. Homes listed for the state of Utah in 2024 of February was 3,853, which is substantially higher than the 3,280 listed in 2023 of February, and even a little right at the same level as February of 2022. So I don't know why home prices are still going up, if I'm being frank with you. Maybe it's because sellers are more stringent on what they're selling for. The only other stat that I could pull up that I thought was pretty interesting to see was that the inventory is only at 2.77 months for Ogden specifically. That's 2.77 right here, which is still super deep in a buyer's market or, or seller's market, I mean. So it's easier to sell a home now than it's been in most of the history of selling real estate. And so I'd have to do more research to see what is sucking up all of that inventory. Maybe it's expireds. Maybe it's people just taking withdrawing their market home, home off the market. Maybe it's their home not selling and them sticking to the price that they have. But there's a huge group of people that are not selling their homes for some reason, making it so that inventory is not increasing as much as it should. So just super interesting overall. So there's some really strong indicators showing that home prices are probably going to increase in Ogden, Utah over the next year, but it's hard to pinpoint down why that's occurring. All the only thing to pinpoint is that it is occurring because median sold value is going up, and it's just super surprising to see that. But other than that, have a great day.